everyone welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted in forever and i apologize uh the ending of last year was so hectic the beginning of this year was hectic it still is i had family coming in and family over um and i was just still trying to get used to recording and youtube in general you know but anyway, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I fill in my eyebrows. So let's start by putting my hair back out of the way. As you can tell, I have no makeup on, nothing. My day is just getting started. <laughs> so first, let me just talk about some of the products I use and they're all by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know they're more on the high-end side where you can get them at Sephora, but there's... Wow. Sorry. What was I saying? Mm. I know there's some drugstore brands like NYX or NYX, um, Sonia Kashuk. They have some pretty good eyebrow products that I've heard of. I mean, there's a lot, but I just stick to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this right here is the Dip Brow Pomade, and I use the shade Medium Brown. Um, they, I also sometimes use, like when I want a more natural eyebrow. So for the pomade, I use it when I'm going out, or I really want that, you know, Instagram fleeky looking brow, or just something that's really carved. Um, for days where I don't feel like wearing makeup, like today, um, I usually just throw on some brow powder, just so like it fills in a little bit more because you can see my eyebrow is light here but it's really full and dark in the front so sometimes I just kind of want to deepen it up so it's even and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder duo in dark brown I usually use this side for darkening the ends of my brows and sometimes if I feel like it I'll use this just for the front part so it's not too harsh um, and another product that I sometimes use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. This is the first one that I used. No, I take that back. The Dip Brow is the first Anastasia Beverly Hills brow product I ever used. And I've had this for a really, really long time. Like it even dried out on me. It was like super dry, like you couldn't even use it and um, I went to Macy's and I picked up this um, what is it called? Inglot Duraline because I heard that that's the one thing that can like revive all your dried up makeup products eyeliners, mascara, dip brows, pomades so I picked it up, I put two drops in, mixed it, covered it, let it sit overnight and then I used it the next day well I mean it's really gross looking and ugly but like it's not even dry anymore as you can see it's like revived but anyway this was the first one I used fell in love it doesn't smudge for me it stays on all day it's easy to come off with makeup remover but like when I just touch my brow like this it doesn't smudge away like before um, with the other products I used to use and then I decided I wanted to try this Brow Wiz because before the Dip Brow came out, I've heard a lot about the Brow Wiz. So I picked that up and I've tried it and it, I had to get used to it at first. I tried the Brow Definer where it's kind of like a triangular or an angled shape. Um, I didn't care for it. I think it's only because I didn't know how to use it personally. So I picked up the Brow Wiz. Brow is so easy. You just really need a light hand it's really really if you look it's like super super skinny and thin so it's easy to make like hair strokes for your eyebrows for those of you that don't have much of a full brow um so yeah those are the three Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I use um for the dip brow I use one of her brushes this is the number 12 brush it's like gone already but this is the number 12 brush it's just an angled brush with a spoolie at the end 
And then on some days when I feel like setting my brows, which I know a lot of people say you should so it box in the hairs and it combs so you don't have your hairs going any which way, um, they use like a brow setting gel. But I just use um, Maybelline's Great Lash Gel in Clear and it works the same for me. I mean, it's only like two, three dollars at the drugstore, so yeah, I decided to use that instead of spending like 20, 30 dollars on something that does the same job. Okay, so enough talking. I'm just going to be showing you how I do my brows every day. Um, I know I said I use the Brow Powder Duo on days I want to not wear makeup, but I do use my pomade more than my powder. So this is something where it's just quick, easy, throw on some brow powder, fill it in a little bit. This is the one that I usually go for every single day. So let's get into that and I'll show you how I do it. So the trick that I learned for Anastasia Beverly Hills um, pomade is you only really need to use a very, very little amount. Because when I first used it, I literally dumped my brush in there and then I tried to like wipe it off. And even that was just a lot. But my eyebrows were like super dark that day, so I really had to blend. Uh, let's zoom in and you guys can be up close and personal with my brows. One of the keys that I like to do is um, make sure you tweeze really well or get your eyebrows waxed. Because when I don't get my eyebrows waxed or trim or tweeze them or maintain them at all, I notice that it's kind of harder for me to apply my makeup. But anyway, so I just got my eyebrows waxed at the European Wax Center and she's amazing when she does my brows. I go to Cantria for those of you who want to know. Okay, so you literally just need a very small amount on your brush. And so I'm just going to start by combing through, make sure my brow hairs are laid in the way that I want them to be. And then I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm just going to very, very lightly start from not all the way in the middle, but I mean, not all the way to the end, but more towards the middle. See where I have like sparse hairs, baby hairs growing or like short hairs that are growing here. And it looks like I don't have hair at all, but I actually do. So that's where I'm just going to fill in. So I'm going to take my pomade and just light strokes to create a line underneath so my brow looks defined. And when I get to here, I make sure that I curve. And then I always have that line. So you can kind of see that it's a little bit more filled and defined. And then not adding any more product to my brush, I just go from half of my brow or the middle of my brow and then I start to shade in a little. I used to draw a line like flan just from here and draw a line to outline but I don't know, it's too harsh for me so like sometimes I still do it but not all the time. But I mostly just start from right in the middle and then I just drag the rest of the product that's on my brush to fill in the middle where it's sparse and then as you can see I do have hairs up here so what I like to do is just make sure that I bring my brush and curve at the same time see how I'm like turning my brush yeah just so you get that arch that your brow has and I mean everyone's eyebrows are different guys so it's okay if it, you don't do it exactly like me. I'm just showing you guys how I do my brows and work, what works best for me. See how it's like filled in a little bit better? 
not so sparse at the ends anymore. So sometimes I just stop there and I just comb through or sometimes like over here like where it's sparse where I don't have too much hair either I like to just bring my brush no extra product added and I just start at the top with very 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 light strokes just to give my eyebrow a little bit more shape See how it just, just that little line right there just adds a little bit more shape to it and then I kind of just drag it forward. And then don't forget key. Always blend it out. So filled in brow. Not so filled in brow. But now going on to the next eyebrow, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take a little bit of product on my brush, gonna comb through my hairs. Just so they stay where they need to be and so I know like where to draw my line or add in. So again I'm gonna start from where my hair looks like it's sparse where it needs some color. I'm just gonna lightly draw in some hair. And as you can see right here from my eyebrows, I don't have hair right here. Like it's really blank right here and then I have a few strays right here so my waxer she actually like left this hair sorry she left this hair right here just so I can see where like my brow should be and it's kind of like my guideline of where to draw in I guess see how I just put like a lot of color right there all you have to do, if that ever happens to you, is just comb it out. From close up, you can see that it's filled in, but the front right here for me, it's just really sparse. So when you look from far away, it looks like my eyebrow starts right here. But my eyebrow actually starts here, so I actually add a little bit more product on my brush for just this eyebrow and I go back in and I draw hair strokes sometimes I just bring it forward because I have a light hand and I know how to how I like to fill in my brows, so I'm comfortable with just like dragging some color to the front and blending it out later. Alrighty. So all you want to do is make sure that you comb through your brows just so everything is blended especially towards the front because um, you don't want to look too harsh or mad so that's why you always want to make sure that you blend out especially the front of your brow just so it's not too harsh and it doesn't make you look angry also you, you don't want to make it look like it's super fake you know So I'm just going to take my Great Lash in Clear by Maybelline just to set my brows so they stay on all day and just so my, my hairs, they don't move. 
sometimes before this step I'll top it off with the dark powder when I really want that strong brow but for every day I don't normally do that and so they're gonna look wet until the gel dries but it doesn't take that long and it dries pretty nicely now here is with filled brows Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed my video on how I do my eyebrows, how I fill them in every day. Um, all the products that I mentioned or all the products that I use will be down below in the description bar. So you can check that out if I miss anything. Just remember that everyone's eyebrows are different. So don't worry if your eyebrows don't look like hers or mine or the other girl that you saw the other day or the girl in the magazine. Just try out different products see what works best for you so like i said this is what works for me not it doesn't work for everyone but that's why i say try out different products um there's elf nyx sonia kashuk maybelline uh, and a whole bunch more high-end and drugstore brands so try it out see how you like it if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye